I will put my dogs on. I need to clean up my computer because as you saw, it was getting a little ratty. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll put her stickers on and they will be ready to go. So um, how about we bring on our next guest? I'm super excited. Okay, so let's see if I can do a proper introduction. Um, Don Allen Stevenson is a, uh, how, how do I say this? He is a digital artist, he's a digital creator. He's someone who brings your imagination into reality. And he's worked with DreamWorks. He has, um, uh, he, he works as a consultant for Snapchat and works as a consultant for TikTok. And he is someone who is a ray of light. He's decided to go out on his own after working with Universal, after really working for large corporations, he's decided to go on his own and bring this delicious world that he creates to the space. And we're introducing him to you today. And hopefully he's able to come on if Instagram, wow. yes, Tom, yeah. Hello. Instagram Hello. has decided to be nice to us today. <laughs> Yay. Welcome, Don. How are you? you? By the way, oh, I'm, I'm Julie. Fine. How are you? And that's Charlie Hello. to your other side. Hey! Wow! <laughs> wow. Hello, Charlie. Wow. Hey, good to see you. You, you. I was going to say hello, but you just took the words right out of my mouth. I'm speechless <laughs> right now. That oh, is wow. amazing looking, Don. That is so Thank cool. You. You, and I don't know if, if I want everyone to focus in on his eyes because those have become purple also. Is that hand reaching for me or is it just waving hello? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's actually my hand. I used the motion tracking glove and then I animated, wow. I, I, I went like this and then tracked that to the, a skeleton hand and then put the physics in the hat so that you can, you can have some special wow. days. Wow. <laughs> wow. I Thanks am blown me. away right now. Thank you for being here. I am going to show everybody your Instagram page on my screen really quickly. Oh, wow. I Thanks. would love if you would tell our friends like Julie said, your background and how you've become such an AR expert. Sure thing. So, I mean, over the last three years, I've been a teacher at DreamWorks. So they have a role called a specialist trainer. It was my role to onboard new artists, whether you're an animator or a rigger or a surfacer or a technical artist. And I got really inspired every day, you know, worked on how to train your dragon, uh, trolls, abominable. Um, and by doing that, I got this, like a very deep understanding of 3D and and then and then teaching it like how do you teach it in a way that's understandable and accessible and uh you know i decided you know about a year ago that i wanted it, i was like hey i think i've learned a lot of stuff at dreamworks uh it's been a great push for my life and career but i think i'm ready i think i could do this full time by myself and so mm -hmm. i go as an xr creator which kind of stands for cross reality or extended reality doing stuff in ar and vr but all that's kind of related to the stuff I've learned at DreamWorks. A lot of that 3D knowledge, the whole pipeline, bringing mm -hmm. stuff to life. Um, we're used to working with ogres and trolls and dragons. So it's like imagination is kind of like, it's just normal. It's like you should be able right. to make whatever you see in your mind. And, 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 and people can get value and entertainment out of that. And I was reading an incredible article about you earlier this morning where you basically said you love what you do because your imagination is the only limitation that occurs. Have you found any sort of roadblocks from technology impeding your imagination yet? I mean, as of right now, like every day, the technology that is allowing creative stuff is literally opening up and making it easier and friendlier and simultaneously more powerful. So like, honestly, my iPhone right now, this is an mm -hmm. iPhone 12, is more powerful than the first computer I had when I was a kid running Photoshop. Way wow. more powerful. Like, not even kind of more powerful. It is beyond. It's so much, it's a, such a better computer. So I just think of little kid me, if I had access to an iPhone when I was uh, 12, which is when I started learning Photoshop, I could mm -hmm. actually have better creative tools. And that just keeps wow. happening every single day. Every year, we're getting cheaper, more affordable co computation, and then more powerful tools. So it's like, uh, it's exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. And it, and it really shows you what a craftsman can do. Because if you hand me an iPhone, I'm going to get on Instagram and TikTok. And if you hand you an iPhone, you're going to create literally mind-blowing content <laughs> before our eyes. I don't know, Julie, I can't, with an iPhone, this is insane. Yeah. It's, it's so insane. I mean, Don, even the fact that you could 
physically track your body. I put that in the stories that you don't have to mm -hmm. have this. I mean, that you, you, you did a model wow. of, 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 of a board ape. Um, uh, and, and you were able to like dance around in your living room with the board eight body, but this thing with virtual reality, I mean, when you're teaching, when you're teaching somebody about this, what's, what's a hurdle that you, um, love the challenge of coming up against when someone is new to the space of creating? Oh yeah. That's me. Me walking out of my living room. Look at I that. Use, I used AI to replace my body. So there is, I am actually in that room at that time, but AI is replacing me with the, with the character I made, modeled that in a program called ZBrush, painted it in another program called Adobe Substance Painter, and then rigged it in a different program called Cinema 4D, riggings like the bones and stuff. Um, so, and then that's me walking around my apartment. Look <laughs> <as> a... <laughs> at you. <laughs> um, what was your question? You said, was it, what are the hurdles? Like, like when someone's starting and they have a hurdle, like the, it comes up and when this hurdle is put in front of you, you're like, oh, all right, game on. What yes. would that be? Because I want people to know that something's, don't let something stop you. So you're the guide to knowing that I'm going to trust you. So gotcha. what hurdle that you've come across for newbies is something that you can share um, so people aren't afraid. Yeah, the biggest hurdle is, um, is, is judgment, self-judgment, I find. So like a lot of, there's a lot of creative, talented people. And, and I feel like everyone does have the capability in their heart and their skill to do artwork. But then what they're comparing their today's learning, their first steps learning, they're comparing it to stuff of, of works of people that have spent years behind the scenes developing that kind of thing. So what I would kind of say like the biggest hurdle is like a, it's an internal hurdle. It's saying, can I, is it okay for me to learn and not judge myself in my learning? And so like, I kind of like to encourage people to welcome their failures and to encourage mistakes because that's the only way I've ever learned. That's the only way yep. any artist at DreamWorks ever learns. Like no one comes in with all the knowledge they need. They accept like, you know, that's the hurdle. It's, it's not the tool, the tool's not the hurdle. It's just showing up to the tool and not judging yourself with learning the tool. Those are the only hurdles. Wow, that is, that's, that's insane. And Don, I read that you at the age of 11, although you did say 12 on, the, on here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit up the person who wrote this article and complain oh. about the inaccuracies. <laughs> uh, you switched from MS Paint to Photoshop at a young age from inspiration from your dad. And yeah. that is literally, according to you, what sort of jumped your progress into all of the new digital phenomenons. How have you, obviously you're not in Photoshop anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, but what was your progression? And where was there one moment where, like you said, you went from just learning to understanding and being able to do this stuff. Was there an aha moment for you? Uh, yeah, teaching back to people is like my aha moment. So wow, I, around 2017 okay. is when uh, Facebook started allowing live streaming and mm -hmm. Instagram later had live streaming like this. And I started like trying to think of what kind of content could I make that would provide people about like value. And I realized that all the stuff I learned over the years, like I learned a lot of the stuff through free, available, accessible knowledge that I found on the internet from tutorials wow. of like people like Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot, people like Corridor Crew, um, people, you know, like Bob Ross, you know, I always think of like, I want to be like them, but for this XR, AR and VR stuff. So when it comes to like learning, like the, the aha moment of I could actually really understand this is when I can teach it back to another artist. And then I see them execute that in the movie. And I'm like, Oh my God, whoa, I remember showing them like how to like set up their, their brushes in Photoshop. Uh, or I remember like showing them how the hair tools work for our trolls, the trolls, and they had crazy, we had such crazy hair in those things. And like showing an artist like that moment of, you know, here's your tool, here's, you're gonna get into it. And then seeing it on the movie, it's like, whoa, they got it. <laughs> That's so cool. Julie, we're a bunch of trolls. So this kind of fits in perfect. <laughs> I have to say, we, we received a comment cause you know, I'm, I'm the comment gal here and I've been really yeah. bad about doing the comments today because I'm, I'm so loving our guests. But there's this comment that came in and it says, Don's dad is an awesome guy. He's super yes, he proud is. of him and his community. Now, is imaginary Lobo your dad? 
No, Imagine Alova <laughs> is a colleague of mine. He's a super skilled graphic designer and a friend of mine. Yeah. Um, uh, I was going to say, wow, your dad is uh, speaking about himself in the third person. Oh, okay. <laughs> that that would be a dad joke to make <laughs> to come in and start talking about. <laughs> and Don, you you are an amazing teacher. I don't think I could learn, but that's because of my own imaginary limitations when it comes to computers. However, I am going to try my best because your most recent video on your Instagram is essentially a three hour <laughs> tutorial. Yes. On how to make the the Rick and Morty character uh, Rick with two crows on his head. Yes. So for those interested, <laughs> please go watch Don's video about how to make this 3D figure. Thank because you. I, I couldn't agree with you more. When you're able to teach something back to someone is probably really when you have mastered it, for lack of a better term. Now, are we going to see – now, I want to see an augmented reality you, just you – None of, you know, talking to me in my living room, because I've decided that Don Allen is absolutely the person that I want to teach me how to do XR. So can I hope for one day for you to be just sitting right here next to me? Uh-oh, he's doing, he's showing us something. He's doing I can something. He's, he's going to show us something. <laughs> oh my God. No. This is an avatar I made of myself and it's a full body avatar. Uh, let me wow. zoom in a little bit. And uh, I'll walk back here. Oh, wait. I flipped the camera. Let me flip it again. That's Sorry okay. about that. No matter what camera you're showing us, it's amazing. It is. So that's me. That's a full <laughs> body avatar I made of myself. Whoa. And it has you spatial are, tracking. So this is today. You're blowing my mind. This is right now. I'm waving my arms like a silly person. And I can, oh, wow. wow. I, can wear my AR, I can wear an AR filter on my VR self. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is so cool. So that, uh, that is right at. now. That's right now. That exists today. That is amazing. So you know what you I think is really amazing about you, Don, because besides the technology, all I think for us, technology is just an extension of our um, fractions of light that come out of us. And you've worked with, you know, big companies, like I mentioned, you know, like DreamWorks and Adult Swim and Snap and Adobe. But you also did some work with Little Nas. Um, X. Yeah. You also did some work with Logan Paul. Uh, you're mm -hmm. also, you, you know, you worked with Universal. Yeah. I mean, uh, Tiesto. Uh, these are really, these are people who have come to you and say, Don, I like your light. I like how you're using it with these current tools. What would wow. you suggest to people who are new in this space? Um, how they can find their voice through authenticity. Yeah, I mean, um, one way to find your voice is kind of just starting. I can't stress that enough. A lot of people talk about how they want to learn something one day, but they don't actually start it. Um, so I actually use a, a hack from an old company I worked at that um, we, we, we did HR videos training. And there's actually a really cool acronym called SMART, uh, S-M-A-R-T, SMART Goals is how I, is how it's a good, easy, like step, step-by-step -step process to learn that new thing if you're a beginner. So what a SMART goal is, is the S stands for specific. Make your goal specific. Instead of saying, I want to learn 3D, say, I want to learn how to 3D model a donut in 3D. That's so much more specific, so much more actionable. You can do something with that. So S, you got the specific. M, measurable. How do you measure you achieving your goal? I, so, you know, learning, I want to model a donut. How? I will... If I see a, do a donuts model on my screen, I can measure that I've, I've achieved that goal. So it's measurable. A lot of goals like I want to work out more are not specific enough, aren't really measurable. What is more? So specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. I, any new goal, any new skill that I'm trying to learn, I hold it to those, those, those letters. And then I write it out. I make it specific, make it measurable. Um, attainable is when you ask yourself, is this goal even possible? If I'm like, do I want to be an astronaut? I want to be an astronaut tomorrow. That's, it would be specific and it's measurable, but it's not attainable because I need, so you ask yourself, well, what steps are required to make that attainable? Okay, I would need to like learn all this stuff. I have years of training. Now it's attainable. And the last two is relevant and time bound. Relevant is asking yourself, is this your goal or is this somebody else's goal that you're just doing because they told you so? Is this, is this a parent talking? Is this like some toxic friend talking? 
So you ask, you know, you can have specific, measurable, it's attainable, but if it's not relevant to you, that's not a smart goal. And then the last right. one is time bound. You put a time on it. Um, and, and, when you, and when that time comes, if you haven't made your goal, you don't put shame and anger on yourself, but rather that's, that just means you just have to be a little bit more specific and realistic with your smart goal. So that's when you just refine it. Like, oh, it actually didn't take a year to do that. It's going to take a year and a half. So it's like, it's not an end. It's not the end. Of, and it's not doom and gloom. I might put you on the spot right now. Bring it. You showed me. <laughs> oh, yes. All right. Yes. I knew let's I loved do you, it. Don. Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. So he said, we'll put you on. You showed me a couple of AR filters yesterday. And there was one that was on top of your head. Uh -huh. And it was brown. I'm not going to give it away because I want to. I want to surprise Charlie. It is similar to what you have there, but the top part of it moved almost like a mouth. Let me see. I'm like I will say it was a, his it was, oh, it was a, it. this one. Oh, Charlie. I know. So I Look at Charlie's hat. mouth. There you go. <laughs> so this is like an I'll go get, I, yeah. I will go get my Quidditch outfit right now and get ready for Harry Potter land. That is, Wow, that's the sorting hat. That is so is. fucking cool. I'm sorry. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it works too. I programmed it so it actually does sort you. So I can't do it on the live stream here, but if you try this on my account and, and, and literally it just says, what, um, what is your house? If you smile, the sorting hat will pick one of the four houses for you. It's all programmed. It, 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 it's a working sorting hat. And I'm yeah, letting everybody yeah. know we are not friends unless you go to Don's page <laughs> and find out what, like, nope, just, I don't, I don't want to be friends with you if you are not <laughs> figuring out what house you're in. Schmooper girl just said she's a Ravenclaw. Don, what house are you, if we can quickly, what, what house are you in, Harry Potter? It put me in, I've, I've gotten between Gryffin, Gryffindor and Slytherin, so I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, those are a little different, but, uh, but yeah. Same thing happens to me. You must be a Gemini. There must be two of you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. Wow. I, uh, to me, I, I haven't even picked a house. Are you going to stay my friend, Charlie? Yeah, because Ooh. you're going to go do it after the show. So okay. we're good. We're all <laughs> good. And then you talked about, you talked, yeah, whew, you talked about, well, if you're a Slytherin, who knows, though? You know, we, there's, some, there's some beef there between us Gryffindors. But you talked about time being of the essence, Don. And you did something recently with literally the most, uh, Wow. <laughs> I know, like, by the way, I know you're going to ask your question, but Imaginary Lobo says, if you save his filters, you can use them in your live streams. So yes. I might, we, we might have to just for our Halloween shows. Look yes. at that. Look at that. Like, oh Don my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, please save my filters. That'd be great. I would love to see you use them in your yes. stuff. This is Imaginary Lobos. Oh, oh, Imaginary Lobo. I like that one. There's a few yeah. things on your page that I think are probably inspired by him that you have on your Instagram page. You were going to ask a question, Charlie. I'm sorry. I was, no, I was getting I'm, distracted by the fun. I am so distracted. <laughs> I, have not, I, I feel like I'm looking at like this squirrel, squirrel. You know what I mean? And so you've done something, Don, that you talked about time being of the essence. You literally have taken the most popular TV show in the world right now and already made a filter for it. I would love yes. everybody to check out the Squid Game augmented, rea augmented reality, right? Filter that you yeah. have created for this. If you haven't watched Squid Game, go watch it. But how long, how do you get the motivation? How does this happen so quickly, Dom? Because it would take me 15 years to even figure out how to type the first line of source code for this sort of thing. And you already have this posted as of a week ago. The show came out a couple weeks ago. So you are obviously doing this stuff daily, quickly, and extremely efficiently. How, yeah, thank you. how are you able to streamline the process? And I, and I know you have your own process down, but how do you go from viral trends to augmented reality in less than, what, a few days? Yeah, I mean, luckily, I, I actually shared, like, the full videos of the whole process from start to finish. Um, yep. A lot of them are on YouTube right now. They're, like, two, three hours, four hours long. Um, but it really comes from, like, I get enjoyment out of this. Even if I wasn't paid by my, you know, clients, I would still be making this stuff every day. It's, like, it's fulfilling. It fills up my heart with joy. So I, it doesn't – it's not like – it doesn't feel like work. It's, like, I get to play for, like, an hour on this new show that I love. 
Yes. <laughs> and then what's always weird is like, I actually get reached out by the people in those things. So like I, I made that, I made a, a, a I, re I remade one of little Nas's um, uh, fashion from the Versace. He had this gold armor. I made it into a yeah. full body AR filter on Snapchat. And then about a week later, their team reached out and like, now we're talking and it's like, wow, that just turned into like real thing. But it was, it was a passion project. It was something that was fun. I was going to do it anyway. And then other people see value in it. And then it's like, you know, it can, it can help them out. Wow. You bring up a good point, Don, because on one of your posts on Instagram, and again, if you're really interested in any of Don's work, you can use that drop down menu, not leave the live, and you can follow him immediately. Oh, one what? of your I Yeah, know I know. That's see cool. <laughs> see wow. you know Holy Don, shit, we taught him something about technology. <laughs> How did that happen? Sorry. Thank you. I'm it's always okay. open to learning. Thank you for sharing that. I had no idea. That's cool. You know, while wow. you're live and you're a guest, that drop down menu above my head. Now once it's rebroadcast, the drop down menu isn't there, but then you can follow see you just followed Charlie. I know what you just did, John. You're slick. Look at that. He's so lick. He knows what he's doing. He is. He is. He's he's a fast learner. On one of your yeah. posts, you even top, you, you mentioned this topic where you're just doing something that you love. It was this purple blob for lack of a better anything. You had made this like, it looked like a crumpled piece of paper that was really large in a space next to someone's car and it was moving. And your words said, you just did this for fun. And someone saw that and they said, you know, I want you to come work. And that was the beginning of the Logan Paul egg inspiration, yes. wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a purple blob. I had it come out of a wall, uh, made it look like it was bubbling with paint and it like it's a giant sphere. And then Logan Paul saw it and then sent me a, a direct message through Instagram saying, hey, can you make eggs <laughs> for me? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> okay. uh, 3D eggs, 3D eggs. Um, and it's part of a thing called Crypto Zoo. Oh yeah, that's the little Nas suit. So I made that. That's me in the same room here in the green screen back here. You don't need a green screen. This works with just your, it works with any iPhone that can run a modern version of Snapchat. This will have full body tracking and you can wear the suit. Um, I learned that little Nas's team uh, and Versace spent about four and a half weeks uh, making the physical thing. And for me, I spent four hours. <laughs> Uh, well, you know what? One of our um, one of our favorite family members who's in here in the comments, uh, Peg Moore of the 50 Plus Tech Club. She's a huge Snapchat uh, gal. She loves using Ooh. the filters. And I'm really hoping she discovers more about you coming up. And we could talk to you for hours and hours and hours. And Thanks. we are so lucky because I heard you're going to be a featured guest on tomorrow night's V Friends Family Tree Show in the yeah. evening. Is that correct? Okay, I don't, yeah. I don't want to throw you underneath the bus if you haven't talked to your scheduling agent yet, but I have, it's I good. believe, yes, I have yeah, I believe, <laughs> yeah, because I'd hate to give you a plug and then not, not be true. Um, so I know that we do have to close this show. We want more of you and you've left us wanting more. So Charlie, guess what? Guess who's one of your featured guests tomorrow night on your show? The, the person that I literally <laughs> cannot get enough of right now. Wow. And, uh, that show starts, it's tomorrow night on Instagram Live, and it starts at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can tune in. There's always great guests that are on. Before we leave, Don, if you were to give one piece of advice, or you could answer today's question is, um, what, what keeps you balanced? Either one, what parting wisdom would you like to leave with us tonight? Sure. Um, my, my, my main one I would like to share is uh, try to learn a new skill every week that puts a past version of yourself out of work. Um, if you do this every week, you'll always have work. You'll always find fulfillment. You'll keep learning new things um, and, and never stop learning. It's a big part of my philosophy, like of always learning, kind of approaching everything like a baby in, a, in the best way possible. Babies, like how they learn is like, they don't go in with a lot of judgment. They just start doing it and they fumble and they stumble and they make mistakes, but then they learn. They learn really well over time. It's just repetition. So um, try to learn a new skill every week that puts a past version of yourself out of work. Um, that's the one piece of wisdom I would love to share with your audience. Charlie, what would you like to share before we... Go follow Dawn. Forget what I have to say, dude. Go, go hit that drop-down wow. arrow and follow... I mean, 
there's magic appearing before your eyes. So if that doesn't make you follow Don on Instagram, just uninstall Instagram from your phone because you're not using it properly. So go follow Don. That's all I'm going to say. I, I second you, Charlie. I mean, I'm not having FOMO. I'm having JOMO. I'm having the joy of missing out right now of the fact that, you know, um, I, I, I know that I'm going to see you again tomorrow. So um, maybe it is FOMO. It's a combination between FOMO and JOMO. I wish I had that moving around my face but you can you totally can this is a it's live on instagram right now <laughs> yeah oh great so, so all insane. i all i have to yeah, do is go to Yas instagram Switch. yeah Yas go Switch. to my instagram there's a little button that looks like a little star icon near the top um if you click on it you'll see all the filters i've made on instagram and then this is one of them it's called yes witch Hey, so Charlie, how about we do that? Yes. How about we download them and we wear we we wear his uh his hats on, I don't know, maybe tomorrow night show. Oh my absolutely, God. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I was already yeah, absolutely. Okay. I was already thinking about wow. how I can pull that off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, well, so I'll cool. see you then tomorrow. We'll see yep. you tomorrow night on the V Friends Family Tree. And again, once you guys know that every Wednesday we do this live here on Instagram. And by the way, I have a little hint for all you that are out there that are watching right now. A few have asked me about if you are going to volunteer for the NFT NYC conference. I have heard that the volunteer link is now live. It is something that is going to be closed very quickly. And Charlie, if I say this to you, will you type it in and then I'll pin it in the yeah, comments what is, for the next what's, minute? What's the link? It is nft.nyc forward slash volunteer. So if you do volunteer, I know that they're only choosing 100 people to volunteer for the NFT conference. It's the one thing that's going to bring New York City, I believe, back, um, support the... Uh, you know, there you go. Thank you so much for putting that up. Let's see if I can pin it to the top of this. Again, you guys, it's nft.nyc forward slash volunteer and spell that right. V-O-L-U-N-T-E-R. I can, uh, I can put it in go. the comments for you. He's going to, yeah. And then I'll pin it oh, and just make sure that when you guys apply, there's again, like there's only a hundred of us. Let's love bomb them. Put in your comments uh, that you heard about it through the how to with Julie Sue page. And we will, oh, Don, Don checked out. He checked himself out. So Don, we will see you tomorrow night for sure. And uh, if you would like to volunteer again, Charlie, put this in here. Um, I'm going to go in and apply. I know Charlie, you're going to do that. I'm going to do it right now. Um, yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, Peg just said that she applied when the link went live a few days ago. So it is a live link currently. Thank you, Peg. And uh, I know that they're going to let us know and let's love bomb them with our family. All right, Absolutely. you guys. Till tomorrow night on Be Friends Family Tree. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> Hi, friend. How are you today? You are live on the Instagram live show at How To With Julie Sue. We want to welcome you. And I say that lovingly because today it is October 3rd.